Hello and welcome to this, our first shot in managing temporary works. This presentation is going to take you through the types of temporary works and the history of why we manage them today. Temporary works are managed under the direction of BS 5975 2019. They are defined as engineering solutions to be used to support or protect either existing structures or permanent works during construction, to support items of plant and equipment, or vertical sides or slopes of an excavation during the construction operations on site, or to provide access. They can also be used to control and stabilise a structure, strengthen elements of a building or construction works, to reduce deflection and fatigue on parts of structures and beams, and to reduce hydraulic and technical geological effects within defined limits. The management of temporary works within construction is nothing new. In fact, since the Health and Safety at Work Act came into effect in 1974, a number of policies have been brought in to help us manage temporary works within construction. The Bragg Report of 1975 published 27 recommendations on how we can manage temporary works and false works within a construction site more safely. The first publication of BS 5975 was in 1982 and specifically looked at the management of false works. In 1996, the second edition of the BS was launched with more technical changes and was looking at greater areas than just false works. This was developed again in 2008 to develop a major update looking at different designs of false works, practical codes of practices which could be used for temporary works procedures and permissible stress design within false work. This was redeveloped again in 2011 and more recently in 2019 the BS was updated to reflect modern practices. So let's have a look at some examples of temporary works. Well type hoardings in many different shapes and sizes are all temporary works. They all need to be designed to resist the weather conditions of where they've been located and to be able to manage the passage of people around them. They all need to be inspected and designed to make sure they are fit for purpose for the task they are undertaking within the environment they are being placed. And though some people may not consider them, actually your site accommodation, be it your office space or actually a living space, is part of the temporary works within the project you work. They all need to be designed so they're safely installed, they all need to be managed, and they all need to be facilitated that they can be safely used within the site. This also includes the use of facilities such as the storage of material like cement hydrants or other material bulk dumps within your sites. Prefabricated track roads and expeditionary services regularly used across construction sites are also part of the temporary works. These need to be designed to take the loads that are going to be implemented onto them, but also they need to be anchored to stop slippage, manage that speed limits are not above their design purpose, and that they're placed and facilitated in a manner that they can be safely used. More traditionally, we look at timber shoring as what we would consider as temporary works, and it still is, but it can be designed and can become on site in many different forms and shapes. It could be small, low level formwork around the edge of a concrete pad. It could be the beam reinforcement moving up to 1.2 meters high, or it could be larger reinforced structures around our site. Formwork is a key part of temporary works and needs to be managed and designed to make sure it's suitable for the tasks on site. Earthworks and excavations are also part of the temporary works. They need to be designed and regularly assessed and inspected to make sure that people can operate and safely work around them. We also need to make sure that material will not give way under weather conditions or that they're not affecting the movement of vehicles around site and that they can be safely accessed in a safe manner. Excavations on site are also key parts of your temporary works, but these can be managed in a number of different ways, be it traditional form work, or using more modern approaches such as drag boxes and trench boxes which can allow you to access site in a safely manner. If these proprietary systems are going to be used, you need to make sure that they've been designed and are used within that design limitations. Proprietary systems to help enable form work for reinforced cages are also part of your temporary works. These may be, have been designed by a manufacturer and they need to be checked that they are being used within their specification and that they are being managed and installed 
in the correct methodology as per the designer's statements. Propping within a structure is key that it has been designed and has been installed within line with that design methodology. Propping it specifically when being loaded and unloaded needs to be done within line with the methodology the designer has set out. In some situations, the load above them may need to be spread across the bottom of the structure. This again will be designed and needs to be installed or stripped out in line with the designer's specification. The use of cranes on site also comes under the temporary works. We need to make sure that the cranes have been positioned so that ground around them can bear their load. We also need to inspect that services have been assessed so they no, do not run under the structural support for the crane and that the crane does not crush any services on site. This can be drastic to the use of the crane and can cause it to tip over if not correctly assessed. Scaffold systems are again a regular type of temporary works used on site. They need to be designed within line with TG20 2013 and be checked and installed in line with the designer's method statement. Scaffolds can be used for a number of different uses on site and they're designed in a specific way to allow access and movement of stores. This needs to be checked against the design brief and made sure that the scaffolding is installed and used correctly. The installation of lifting platforms and openings within scaffolding again need to be checked in line with the designer's method statement and that the equipment used to load these areas are again in line with the uses of the equipment need to be lifted and placed on the scaffolding and that a method statement is being used by current and competent people. A number of different shoring systems are also part of your temporary works. More traditionally, needles and beams and propping systems are used to create openings within structures. They also may be there to support different elements of the building while works are going on around them to create global stability within the structure. These again will be designed and need to be made sure that they are implemented, maintained and used in line with the designer's methodology and that all people working around them are current and competent and trained on the use of that system. Temporary structures, be them short term or long term, need to be managed as a temporary works, be this a small footbridge or a large suspension bridge. If it is a temporary work system and not part of the permanent works, it needs to be installed, managed and designed in line with BS 5975 and that a correct methodology and assessment have been made to them before they're implemented. In a military situation, it is key that this works have been undertaken to make sure that the structure is suitable for its task. So thank you for listening to this first in our series of shorts on the management of temporary works. We hope you've got a better understanding of why temporary works are being implemented and what type of systems on site are classed as temporary works. Here you can see a picture of the collapse of the London Bridge collapse in 1975. This killed a number of people on site and was one of the many reasons why temporary works are brought in today. What we'd like you to discuss in your teams is how and what on your sites are classed as temporary works and how will you manage them. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation. We look forward to seeing you at the next.